Hi, I'm JC. Welcome to Ignis Bushcraft. So, what I want to do today is I want to make a type of snow shelter. Now, I'm used to making things like Quincy's, but there's a, an issue with that. It takes a while, and you would, to make it easy on yourself, you would need at least a shovel or some snowshoes so that you could gather a bunch of snow. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try to sort of come up with some type of snow shelter. And uh, it's not going to require any specific tools. It could be something that you're, maybe let's say you're lost during the winter in a forest. You could just stop where you are and you can make a shelter quickly and efficiently without uh, losing too much energy. So there's already some deep snow all over the place, but let's try to find, you know, let's just walk around and see how much we sink and that'll be, that'll be how we'll do, we'll do it. So you can see I'm already sinking considerably. That's uh, above my knee right now. So we're just going to keep walking around. It's going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass without snowshoes, but I feel that this is more true to a scenario that you might find yourself in if you're unprepared. I managed to find myself a spot that's got some fairly deep First snow. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make myself a little hole and then I'm just going to pack or uh, you know take off the uh, the sides and really all we're going to need for this build we're going to need some gloves so that we can dig and also a knife or a, uh, a saw like a pocket saw would also be pretty useful so that we could cut some saplings to make ourselves a little structure on which we'll put snow to make ourselves a roof. So I'll get to it and uh, hopefully I'll take you along with me on the process. So you can see I'm just using my foot to make it trench shape and as you're doing this your your hole is going to fill up with snow and we're going to use all that to later make uh, some walls and we're also going to put it on top of our roof So when I started this hole, it was actually about thigh, or just above my knee, but now it's it's up to my up to my pockets over here. You know my pocket. You know this is where it starts, and this is where it ends, and the snow is right there. And we actually still have a lot, a lot more to go. You can see we're starting to get our circle shape here, and it's already looking like a shelter. And it's quite windy today, but I can't feel the wind anymore because I'm underneath all the snow. So you can see, now I've got down to my actual pocket height. So this is actually a pretty deep hole right now. And what we're going to do, there's still all this powdery snow down there. But we're going to let that leave that there so that it can settle and it'll actually provide us a very comfortable cushion so now that we've got our hole dug it's time to go find some saplings to use as our roof so we've gathered our saplings they're all aspen saplings so cut one more will grow back basically they're in the same family as Willow. And uh, they're very, very, very flexible and it's, they're going to be perfect for making our roof. 
So I'm gonna trim those and I'm basically going to make a tripod and then we'll see where we go from there. All right, we have our basic structure in place. Now, what we're going to do is uh, we're gonna get more branches and we're just going to keep putting them until there's almost no more gaps. Um, I do see some spruce here and there, so I might go get some of those. And then basically all that's left to do is pack some snow on top and we'll have our shelter. All right, so we have we have a roof now with some branches on top. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to pack some snow on top of everything. I'm leaving this open, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, my shimag to make a little door here. So I'll get back to you when the shelter's complete. So we're done the shelter. As you can see, I'm lying down in it. I'm quite comfortable. If I wanted to spend more time uh, here, then I could easily just pack some snow, uh, some branches on the ground and I'd be considerably warmer. Even though now I'm, I'm pretty okay. So I've left, I've left it thin on purpose because I was afraid that it was gonna be too dark in here to see if I, if I didn't leave some spots open. But I also, that got me thinking that I should leave the very top open. Even in case I wanted to have a tiny fire in here. Now this type of shelter would be good for a night. Like I'd be okay for a night, maybe two. But definitely the next day, you know, after you've spent a night, you wake up. Uh, you should be working on improving your shelter. So for me, making the walls thicker. Um, improving my Shimag door. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not a very complex shelter, but it's quite effective. And it'll save your life if you need it to. I think you can see that a little bit, but it's actually warm enough in here that uh, I'm drying off. My pants are a bit wet and they're actually steaming off, not just from my body heat, but it is quite warm in here. I'm only wearing a sweater, so. It's this good. has been JC with Ignis Bushcraft. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe, comment, and like this video. Ah, j'ai frette au cul.